Hey everybody, Divine Ramza here bringing you a new video. Um, opening up some baseball card packs here just because, you know, I like cards and want to mix up the channel so not everybody's getting bored with video games because, you know, I've posted so many films on this channel. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, I like baseball cards I always say I'm trying to cut down but you always know how that works out so um yeah um got a box of 2020 Donruss 2020 Gypsy Queen and one of these uh, I think these are Fair Fairfield boxes uh probably because they're about the only ones that uh well they're the biggest ones that repack old card packs um Already opened up the uh, card chase here just to see what I got and opened up a couple packs. And, you know, I mean, there's anything too sexy in there. <coughs> and uh, let's see here. Couldn't find my tripod, so I'm going to improvise here. So let's see what we got. We got some 89 and 90 down rust first. Um, Rick Rochelle is pretty good. Uh, Let's see, Tom Brown got, he had a error, what was it, 88 down was 89? Um, Nolan Ryan, of course, one of the all-time greatest pitchers, but of course, you know, this card isn't valuable or anything, but it's still cool, though. Uh, Paul O'Neill, Kevin Seitzer, he was a hot prospect for a few years, but kind of fizzled out, though. Rick Sutcliffe, guy. I whenever I see him, I always th think of I think it's his a uh, ninety one upper deck where it has his full body picture on the back, and he has like the biggest beer gut ever. But you know, he was with the Cubs, so that's what you get. Vaughn Hayes, um, he, he was pretty decent, but Vaughn, what a name, what a name. Jimmy Key was this? Oh yeah, this when he was with the Blue Jays. Um, Gene Nelson, which was also the name of my middle school gym teacher. I collect the A's, so of course, we got Deion Sanders rookie here, which is in his first car that was 89, like, tops traded. Lenny Dykstra, suspiciously without his big, big chew in his m mouth. We got 89 Dynamos here. We got Alvin Davis, A's, Lance Blankenship. He wasn't all that good. Um... Mike Deverex, uh, Spike Owens, Ozzy Guillen, Kurt Schilling, got, got, got like four or five of these cards, um, Tony Gwynn, uh, let's see, Manny Trio, he used to play for the A's in the early 80s, let's go, one of the packs, let's see, we got 88 Fleer Stars. Stickers, which I had some of these back in the day, but you know I got rid of all my cards. Haven't seen these in a while, so I forget what they look like. Oh, look on the back, Mr. Roger Clemens. But anyway, ah uh, yes, these these Julio F Franco, which I always know that there was a question about his age, like he lied or something. I wonder if they ever figure out that Andre Dawson got the hawk there. Mike Witt. Tom Hankey looking nerdy as usual. And we got Roger Clemens, the Rocket. Let's see what else we got here. We got uh, 89 Tops, which uh, great pack job there. wonder if it's been s searched, so we'll see. And uh, I'm not going to do the gum challenge because I've done it many times before and it's disgusting. Okay, so we got Dave Martinez, Daryl Hamilton, Tom Hankey. Hinky again, that's a bad omen for sure. Hey, Brian Sandberg. Uh, okay, Dave Stewart, old Stu. He was the man. Bobby Bo. Got Gary Carter. And Pedro Guerrero. So, yeah, probably not search. It was a decent pack, but still weird. Though, another 89 tops here. 
No gum for you. Bo Diaz, he was around for a while. Ron Darling would eventually play for the A's for like a year. Conehead, Egio, this is rookie card. Yep, Craig Beecher, I don't think I have that one. Rick Rochelle again, Teddy Higuera, Alan Trammell in the Hall of Fame, Jeff Fruit in his awesome beard, which, yeah, Daryl Strawberry, awesome, 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 another Daryl Strawberry back-to-back, -back. can't beat that unless you get a bag, bag of uh, Coke, ah, uh, Ramon Martinez, this is his rookie card, yep, yep, don't collect him, but I know some people that do, Bobby Bogut, is that Bobby Bo, was that in the first pack or second? Okay, yeah. I was like, that'd be weird if you got the exact same card in two straight packs. 92 Studio. He's the one. Leaf Studio. Oh, uh, yes. John Olerud and the Eggshell Skull. Rick Sutcliffe and his beer gut. Mo Vaughn. What does it say? Okay. Donnie Baseball. Benito Santiago, Rookie of the Year in 87, was it? Yeah. Swift. Brett Barber, no idea who that is. Ricky Bowe. Bobby Bowe again. Man, Bobby Bowe. And these uh, Babe Ruth cards, the Conlon Collection. You always get a pa pack of these in like every Fairfield box. I don't ever open them up because I already have the complete set in the tin. So I just, I've, you know, like, 10 of these or so, possibly ever find a uh, retail box I can put the packs in them. So I'm not going to open up that right here. 90 score. You know, 90 score was okay. I always liked 88, even though I read a recent article. I think it was New York Times, maybe? Said that, no, I think I was on one of the sites. I forget. They said that 88. 89 score were some of the worst sets. I was like, no, man, they were fun because they weren't tops and they weren't, you know, any, any of the big ones. Joe Orsalak, Bip Roberts, Fernando Valens, Whaler, who was pretty darn good there for a while. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Fame, Nolan Ryan. Ben McDowell, the bust, he had like two good years and then he just, yeah, shit the bed. Manny Lee. Keith Hernandez, Seinfeld, where are you? Bobby Thigpen, definitely an underrated player. Cecilio Guante, love the name. That's one of my favorite names. Sandy Alomar Jr. Yeah, was that? No, yeah. yeah. Milk Kyler and Mike Huff. Got some uh, stand music. So that's 88 dollars. Is that 89? I was. Forget that'd be 88, you can tell by the blue, blue back on the cards. So, so Walt Terrell, Mike Boddicker, my mother in law went to um, high school with him. Uh, Fred Donnie Hill, Mike Witt, Jim Deshays, Greg Matthews, Shane Raleigh, Rob Murphy, Doug Dravex, uh, Dale Murphy, the man. Lynch and Ron Darling, not the best pack ever. 92 Donruss, that's about when I stopped collecting. I probably bought a few packs these, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, yep, yep, okay. Juan Gone, not the biggest fan of him, but tons are. Will Clark, Will the Thrill, baby. And we got Hubie Brooks. After the Expos, Jeff Treadway, Brian McRae, son of Hal. Juan gone again. You know, two of the exact same cards in a pack. Great. Mike Remlinger in a throwback outfit. Nolan Ryan highlights card. Joe Girardi. None of that guy. Griffey, the kid. There you go. Bud Black. Olerud. Greg Olson, another guy who had about two good years, and he was in the news the most because there was a catcher with the Braves by the exact same name, just with one G at the end. 
And Terry Steinbach, definitely underrated catcher. Let's see, we got some sport flicks. And what's the last pack here? Sport flicks or 2019 opening day. I'll save the sport flicks for last. Josh James, Matt Kemp, Christian Yelich, who should be the MVP. Opening day for Dodgers. Michael Kopech, Juan Joe right there, and Chris Archer after the Rays. Yep. Yeah, we got some sport flicks. What year is this? Probably 88, maybe? 87, we'll see. But I was a big fan of sport flicks. So we got, let's see if we can name what I got. Robin Yount, Cal Ripken Jr., and Donnie Baseball. Are we right? Yeah, Donnie Boy, Cal, and Robin Yount. And ads, and they're always cool trivia cards. And let's see if we can name who this is. Donnie Baseball again, and Jeff Reardon, and the Awesome Stash. So, yeah, that, I mean, it... It's great with these because it takes you back down memory lane. But, you know, you look at the box, you get a jersey or a Ted Williams. Uh, my eyes are killing me. Autograph print, you know, Jeter. You get a baseball. You know, I have bought tons of these over the past few years. And they always change up the prizes every year. You're not going to get anything good. You're not going to get a jersey or a. Lou Brock card or anything, even though you have the chance, you just aren't. But, you know, 20 bucks, 12 packs, it was a fun rip. So, hey, you know, they're always good. Because you don't really get any crap stuff. I mean, 88 dollar stuff, but, but no, it's just fun. Though. Like, you don't get 91 flare and the yellow board or anything. So, it takes you back to the... 80s and such so hey it's good anyway like share and subscribe and thanks for watching